I'm ready when you all are. All right, what do you got, Jeff? Well, I'm not happy to report that uh, yesterday in practice, uh, Marcus Bailey sustained a knee injury. Uh, be out the remainder of the season. The next couple weeks, he'll have, he'll have surgery. Uh, we want to support him in every way we can uh, to get fully healed, which I know will happen. Uh, he's been a tremendous uh, player for us. Uh, worked extremely hard this offseason to overcome a hip surgery that uh, he got healed uh, that made him miss spring ball and uh, was getting ready to have an outstanding year, which he's played extremely well the first two games. So it was a um, non-contact injury. It was really a um, lighter practice and helmets only, and uh, it's unfortunate, but uh, we'll have to move forward, and the next guy up will have to be ready to go. And uh, we have some guys at the linebacker position with experience, and I expect them to play well. Uh, ACL? It's a knee injury uh, that uh, will require surgery. Okay. Any idea who that somebody will be? It would be uh, Douglas. He's second on the depth chart. No, for sure, uh, Cornell Jones is the next guy up. And uh, him and Ben Holt uh, will be the two inside backers. And uh, Jalen Alexander uh, you know, has got experience for us. And then, uh, like you said, uh, Kieran Douglas is a guy who hasn't played a lot for us, a linebacker, but uh, went through all spring. And, uh, you know, we think he'll be a decent, uh, pretty good player as well. But when you have, when you go nickel, your top two will be Jones and, and Ben Holt. Is that correct? Yeah, that's yeah. the most likely combination, yes. Okay. Uh, just probably still affecting Marcus right now, but just kind of his emotions about this whole thing. And... Well, it's a very unfortunate injury, and, uh, you know, he goes hard every day. And uh, he was off to a great start, and he's had a great career here up to this point. And, uh, you know, good timing's never good. Um, but this is something that uh, he can come back from. We want to make sure we give him the uh, proper care and get everything fully healed so that he can continue beyond that. But, uh, you know, I, I know he's very disappointed and um, not in the best of spirits, but uh, he knows we're going to support him. We're, we're going to make sure we get everything right, everything healed up where uh, he feels good about his future. Maybe too early, but uh, I know he's had his, he had this similar injury in 2015. Uh, is an additional year on the table for him as a possibility? Well, that'll be up to Marcus. We want to support him, do whatever is best for him and his future without question. Uh, you know, that would be a possibility if he, think that, if he thinks that that fits him the best. Right. For us, we want him to do what's best for him, and we'll support him in every decision he wants to make uh, in his future. But we want to uh, you know, make sure he knows we're here to help him fully get it healed and rehabbed and, and ready to go for the next step. How's his mood? Um, I guess like it fun. should. He's not uh, uh, extremely happy and uh, disappointed. And, uh, you know, wants to be out there and uh, wants to help his team and contribute. So, you know, we'll hang in there with him and uh, get the swelling out as quick as we can and, and, and get it fixed soon. What can he do in the meantime? He's a captain. You need you need him around the, the defense. You need him around the team to, to provide whatever leadership he can. I'm sure Marcus will want to be around and uh, want to be a part of the team, and of course we want that. I think uh, right now um, you know, the lack of mobility that will cause him to uh, not fully be a function as well you want, but I'm sure he's going to be around the team and he's going to uh, support our guys and do his part to help us win.